Well, obviously, I think the, the biggest thing that changed and helped us was our defense in the second half. When you look at the numbers, uh, very evident that we, we did a better job in the second half guarding uh, both from the two point, you know, well, two point shots and the three point line. And then uh, the, we obviously made some timely shots. You know, Tristan obviously advanced and did a good job of not turning over. Those things probably helped us offensively because we didn't shoot it very well, as you could see. Coach, another tough uh, game that could go either way down the stretch. I'm um, very happy, I know, for you that you pulled it out. Yeah, it's, I mean, I, but the amazing stat to me is really Tulsa's. You know, that, that, this is the 10th game they've lost by five or less points. And, and i got to give Frank a lot. You know, it's been a rough, some rough sledding for those guys. And they've played hard. I thought in the first half they had really good energy. They really obviously shot the ball real well from the three-point line. They're not statistically haven't done, you know, a great job. But uh, I thought that, you know, we, we did enough. We got a little better uh, defensively in the second half, which helped us. And, like we talked about, we made some plays to, to, to win the game. Coach, obviously it's senior night, Vance Jackson, his last uh, game in a party uniform at Minji's. Just talk about the impact he was able to make right away and being able to contribute straight out of the transfer portal this year. Yeah, it was a big impact. We all know that. I mean, he, he came in, he had a really good, he's had a really good year for us. Um, I think his game is, is, is developed and continue to develop. I mean, I think he has been a good teammate. I think he's been fun to coach. Um, it's sort of nice to see those seniors get reward. I mean, J.J. obviously came in. Some of these guys had, a, had some rough goes, a rough go last year with, you know, what did we miss, 13 or 14 games. So, um, you know, it was nice for J.J. and those guys to have a senior night and a win on senior night. Coach, Luigi had uh, more offensive rebounds than defensive rebounds tonight. Can you talk a little bit about how uh, how many – Rebounds he had and the impact they had. His the energy, game. his energy helped. I mean, you, we could all see it. I mean, he, he, I mean, he ended up having one of the bigger plays of the game. He ran down that loose ball in front of our bench on an offensive rebound. We get a three off the possession. Those are all little things that everybody gives credit to. You know, the guy that put the ball in the basket. Sometimes the guy that set the screen or the guy that uh, ran down the loose ball. Or the guy that took the charge. Those things all add up. And he he did a lot of things. I thought his energy throughout the game was terrific. Coach, about the home season, another win at home. Uh, you've done very well this season being the last game. How do you feel, reflect a little bit on how the season's going at home for you? Well, we you need to protect your home court to have a great season and then learn how to win on the road. And we, for the most part, we did a pretty good job. And obviously, we stubbed our toe a couple times. We had a couple tough losses here. Um, but I, I do think the, the crowd has been terrific all year. I mean, he's, you know, the, 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 the excitement that those people brought tonight, especially late in the game, uh, when we needed some stops, was is really uh, it, it makes a difference. I don't know if fans know that it does make a difference, but it does. Coach, uh, you kind of submitted a winning season this year. Um, obviously, some things didn't go your way mid midway through the season, but uh, it's got to be good to see things kind of trending in the right direction when it comes to this program. Yeah, I mean, we, you know, you always look back at the end of the season, and there's always a lot of what ifs. I mean, and, and what if, what if, you know, and. No one cares. That's the, the reality. It's a it's a it's a result based based business. So you you try to figure out. I, 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 to the kids' credit, I mean, when we went throughout the stretch, where we lost six in a row. They could have mailed it in. I mean, that that's an easy thing to just say. Hey, listen, this isn't going because practice doesn't change. It doesn't get any easier. And you know, man, this is really hard. We're not winning, but there's no reward. I, I think these guys have stuck with it. And uh, I mean, we've we've lost a bunch of you know close ones, but we've also won some close ones, including today. Coach, next up is Wichita State. Can you tell the fans what you're going to be doing for between now and I know it's literally it's kind of unusual. To, it's a makeup game, but literally a whole week. No, this is the regular. We we lost the home game, so this is the regular. Yeah, so we'll we'll, we'll uh, I mean, it, it's it'll be. I think it's probably a good time to have a bye week, and that sounds crazy after you just you know won a couple. Um, we haven't had a bye week. We've been playing three games or two games a week every week, which is unusual. Our bye week was supposed to be when we played at South Florida, one of the bye weeks, and. I think it'll be good for the guys. I think from a mental standpoint of, you know, have a day off. We'll, we'll, we'll give these guys off two days during the week. You know, we'll, we'll be off tomorrow. We'll practice a couple of days. We'll give them another day off in, 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 in preparation for Wichita State. And I think they could use it physically and probably mentally too. But uh, we'll be able to get some time to work on ourselves and also, also prepare for, for the Shockers. Coach, Tristan Newton obviously had a big night, 27 points. Uh, you talked a little bit earlier about this team never kind of gave up on themselves during that six-game losing skid. And he even mentioned that in one of the press conferences earlier in the year. Just talk about him kind of assuming a little bit more of a leadership role as he becomes kind of the marquee players on this program. Well, I think it was the, the, the hard part for them was, you know, Brandon and, and uh, J.J. aren't 15 or 17 point a game scores, but they both get you 11. So that's 22 last time I did math. And when those guys are out, 
uh, it put more pressure on Tristan and Vance, and now it's harder to guard. It's easier to guard two guys that can get you, that can beat you in three or four. And I mean, those guys, you know, the, the cutting and those. Type, and I think Tristan had to take a lot of pressure, and you know, and now they double him on ball screens, and they play differently without Brandon and without JJ out there. And, uh, I think he's gotten crafty. I mean, you know, today's different. You know, he, it's against a matchup zone or switching man. I thought he did a good job of not not playing passively, getting downhill. Um, but uh, you know, he, he he finds way to score ways to score as you guys have seen. Coach, as far as Brandon Suggs, will he be available with Wichita State? Yeah, I mean that's it's an ejection. That's uh, that, 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 there uh, unless something up pops up, I, we, we would expect it. Most that, guys. Thanks, Thanks coach. coach. Have a good night, guys. Good luck to you. Thank you.